Hi, I'm Mr. Frog. For a while now, I've been heavily interested in the Ultimate Iron Man game mode. With this in mind, I wanted to set myself a new challenge. Using standard UIM rules, I want to acquire one of the coolest pets in the game, the Omelette. But there's a catch. In addition to these rules, I will also not be allowed to leave the island of Zaya. This means I will have to obtain all of my gear, stats, and supplies in the local areas. Can it be done? Welcome to Overzealous. Hello everyone, and welcome back to episode 34 of the Overzealous Adventure. Before we begin, I want to ask a favour to everyone watching this right now. As you may know, I have been streaming Seracnus over on Twitch this entire time, and recently, during one of our streams, we provided a plethora of dad jokes. What I want from you is this. Comment below your best dad joke, and I will choose my favourite by the next episode. There's no prize to this, just a little fun and I do love a good dad joke. With that out of the way, let's talk about the video. As you all know, in the last episode, I stated that if I reached 500 kills before receiving the cudgel, I was going to take a short break from Seracnus. In this video, I will show you the progress we have made since the last time. Don't worry, I won't spoil it for you. Just sit back and enjoy the many clips I have picked out to be of minor interest. On with the live clips. Really? This is stupid rare. <laughs> this is so useless. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with 10 spider carcasses? Let's be real here. Let's go. I've got sharks, there you go. I've got astral rings as well. Coming in with 62 prayer that we obtained from dragon bones dropped by Seracnus. That is two prayer levels, I think entirely, just from the dragon bones drops from Seracnus. Fun. Okay, so I just came here to do some crafting and I opened up this shop to grab myself a chisel and I've noticed that there are 1,132 potato seeds here and 588 onions. Now, I don't know about the onion seeds, but I can tell you that this shop buys these for zero. So, whoever has spent their time selling 50 of these at a time, I don't know why you didn't just drop them. You'd have got the same result and yet saved yourself a chunk of time. That's quite hilarious. So I've been sat here for four and a half minutes waiting for this person to try and kill Seracnus because they're using ranged and I wanted to see how well this went. The answer? Not very. Don't use ranged at Seracnus. She has 300 ranged defense. It will take forever and it's incredibly inefficient. Another day, another squash spider. Let's go. Give me souls. Really? That's another 100. Don't need it. And that is going to be another level at Seracnus. 84 hit points we have just hit. I am seriously starting to believe that the cudgel isn't even on the drop table. Are you kidding me? That's number three. I said if this happened again, I'd be pretty upset. That's 3D meds. That stings. <sighs> Goodbye, Dragon Mad. Please give me the cudgel soon. So, it's just occurred to me that we have officially made over 1 million coins from just doing Seracnus. Whether it be coin drops, selling things at the shop, or alking them, we've made 1 million cash, which is pretty cool, but also fairly useless. Still no cudgel. Okay, we're just gearing up for this kill, and this is going to be kill number 384, which will be the drop rate for the cudgel. We still haven't had one. If we don't get it on here, then we are currently over the drop rate. Um, and we'll just see how it goes. Okay, so a bit of a build up to this one. Um, we did try and do the kills back to back to back in the previous attempt. Um, tried to do three kills in one trip, and it went a little bit miserably. So we will be finishing up kill 384 here, when I can finally get the finishing hit. Apparently uh game doesn't want me to. There we go. So this is kill number 384. Ranars. I mean, I'll take them, but that is not a cudgel. So we are now officially over the drop rates, and uh, we'll just have to see how long it takes. As I said before, I think at about 500 KC, if I still don't have the cudgel, I'm probably going to take a break from Seracnus for a while, um, just because I'm getting very tired of it and it's going to get very boring content. 
But nonetheless, let's continue with the kills. Sneaking in another cooking level. 82 cooking. At this rate, we're going to have 99 cooking as well. So I was so fixated on getting that last kill that I didn't even realize, but we just hit 400 kills. We've got 100 more, and if we still don't get the drop, then as I said before, I'm going to be taking a break. But I really do hope that in the next 100 kills I do manage to get it, because I am so tired of doing Sorachnus. Another Herblore level that I completely forgot about. 58 Herblore. We can now use the Herb Sack. That's an interesting concept. I'm not going to be getting it anytime soon, but... I may use this in the future, it could be quite handy. Just got ourselves 89 strength, I completely forgot that was coming in. That is an entire strength level, from just Seracnus by the way, because I've actually stopped training strength off uh, off stream, I'm literally just doing Seracnus now. So yeah, an entire strength level from killing Seracnus, fun. No! <sighs> I, just, I just... I don't know what to say anymore. I'm done. I'm done. Was that DMED 4? That's DMED number 4, isn't it? Oh my god. Okay, so, many kills later. Uh, I don't know what I've got to put in this video before this, because nothing has really happened, but we are finishing off this kill, and this is going to be kill number 500. Now, if we don't get the cudgel here, it's kind of irrelevant anyway, because I'm going to be taking a break. What do we get? Kill number 500 is Adamantite Ore, which is completely and utterly useless. So, that is 500 Sorachnus kills done, and a 3 minute 33 second kill, which is pretty cool. And this is what we have to show for it. We've got 2,666 Mithril Ore, 270 Emeralds, 435 Red Dragonhide. No cudgel in 500 kills, which kind of sucks. But like I said, we've got a lot of supplies and stuff, which has been really useful. Um, I am going to take a break from Seractus for a little while, as I said before. And one of the main things I'm going to need to do for the future is collect up some nature runes. So that's the plan. We are going to head over to Moss Giants, um, not because they've got the best source of nature runes, but because they're going to be quite easy for me to kill, and they're also good for training melee stats. I was originally going to kill Necromancers, however I found out that their respawn time is 30 seconds, which is way longer than I'd like to wait. Um, and also, they're probably going to do some damage to me and lower my stats, so I don't think they're going to be that efficient. Also, Moss Giants do drop Ranar Seeds, which could be really good for restocking my Prayer Potions, which have dwindled down to 136. I was getting quite concerned about these. And we could also get Lore Runes, so that's a positive as well. Anyway, let's head over to the Catacombs, which, by the way, I can also get Totem Pieces, completely forgot to mention that. And we're going to go kill ourselves some Moss Giants. Before we go ahead and make our way down to Moss Giants, I've had a sudden realisation that I don't really have any defensive stats. Currently our Crush Defence, which Moss Giants use, is 65, which is with my entire setup. And that is pretty poor. I don't even have a proper shield. I'm currently using the Book of the Dead, because I was using it to teleport around while doing Seracnus. And the first thing I want to do is head over to Shazian, because there's apparently a Chainmail Shop. And Chainmail's got decent crush defense, so I'm going to see if I can get at least a Mithril chain from there, hopefully. If possible, I want to get an Adamant chain, because that would be a lot more crush defense, and it's going to make it a lot easier to kill the Moss Giants. Okay, here we are with the Witch Project. Uh, we're going to trade here. And that is terrible. Oh dear. Um, I mean, the bright side is I can buy legs and a helmet, but... I was hoping for better than this. This is horrible. What? Ugh, the main issue with this is I can't even smith better stuff like this. I can only smith up to a steel chain body and that's what I can buy here. What even is... what? Ugh, I don't even know what the stats are on this. Does this improve? It, it's literally equal. Like my crush defense doesn't go up at all. Oh dear. Well, this is going to be fun. Okay, given the abysmal stock of this shop, I will not be buying anything from here. And what I am going to be doing instead 
is collecting myself uh need on thread i'm actually just gonna go over to hosidius and do this get some need on thread and we're gonna head over to the stone chests we are going to collect fabric until i can make the zerishian top and bottom and the reason i want to do this is because then i will be able to store the zerishian set in the house and that way i can store the hat for later without having to go back and get it um, it just saves time and it's also useful in the future for when I want a magic set and I can just store it in the house and stuff like that. Um, after that, I'm going to be wearing the Shazian armor because, well, again, it's stored in my house. It's easy to get and quite honestly, there's not really many options for me to get. So that's pretty much what I'm going to stick with. Uh, we are going to sell off these adamant ore to here because I can't do anything with them. Anyway, onwards to Shazian, and we're going to make our way over to the stone temple thing and get ourselves some fabric. Okay, so I've already made the top. It is on the floor right there. And if we do this one here, we should be able to make the bottom. And there we go. We've got the rest of the Zorician robes. That is the full set done, which means we can now store it in the house. Okay, so once again, I, I don't really know which one goes to which. Apparently, it's not the magic armor case to put the magic armor. I already have a set of this. I didn't realize this. This is incredibly awkward. It seems that the spider has made me go insane. I already had a set of this, so I'm dropping that one. And we are taking out our uh, Shades in Helm. Or I think I have to store the whole thing and then take it out again. That's going to be kind of annoying. I'm pretty sure that's the way this works. Yep. Okay, so we put that back in, and then we take out the set, which I can't because I don't have enough space. I'm playing like an idiot today. Alright, so, and then we store, we wear these, and we store the body and legs. There we go. Once we get to 60 defense, this is going to be a lot easier to do, because I'm pretty much just going to stick with the D-Med. Okay, let's make our way over and kill some moss giants. Oh, this place is so nice for killing giants. Unfortunately, they don't aggress me though, so I can't really AFK here. But it should be nice and easy to kill them without taking too much damage. <laughs> so, I've killed five Mox Giants, and we already got a Ranar Seed. Great start. We just got the Black Squash Jewel drop, which is going to be useful, because that gives me a little bit of extra defense. Just looked like an absolute beast. I was wondering how many of these we were going to get. That is the first Mossy Key. But I will take the Limpwit Seed. Unfortunately, cannot use the Mossy Key, so that's going to be stay on the floor. Goodbye. Oh, this, this could have been a totem. Oh, no. No, I'm just kidding. I don't really care. It's just I always see people in videos complain about getting long bones. And yeah, then we just got one. I think it's like one in 400. But, you know, I've probably killed about 400 by now. So that seems about right. Just after the previous clip, there's another mossy key. Okay, so for a change of pace, I decided to go up and try out ice giants. And apparently, I've never walked this way before. Let's ignore the fact that I've done 99 fire making at Winter Todd and a Kingdom Divided and I'm unlocking new music tracks. Once again I think they've just changed the game and I guess moved music tracks around or something and that is why but still really weird. Okay so I've spent nearly an hour here now I've killed 57 ice giants I've had to restock for food for multiple times and I've only received six nature runes so this is actually even worse than moss giants I am not gonna stay around here. Might look for a different place to collect ninja runes, uh, but I may end up resorting to Marsh Giants, which unfortunately is going to take me over 330 hours or something ridiculous like that to get the nature runes I need. So, likely chance is I'll probably end up doing Necromancer and hopping around, because I think that will be the fastest method. So, after that abysmal trip at the Ice Giants, we've come back to Mossies, um, because not only do these apparently give more nature runes, the Ranar Seeds, Limpwort Seeds, and stuff like that are so helpful. We've had four Ranar Seeds so far, and that's going to be so good for this stack. So I think I'm going to stay here for a while, because uh, even if I don't get a lot of Nature Runes, there, I'm going to have plenty of Ranars for when I go back to doing Seracnus, and a lot of things in the future, because, you know, Prayer Potions are just super useful. Okay, so I think the plan is I'm going to stay here until I get over 100 Nature Runes, because it's actually really slow. We are accumulating seeds. Uh, I did get another one. I went and planted it in the Hosidious patch, because I can't die there. And once we get over 100 nature runes, I'm probably going to head over to the Necromancer and do some of that. Uh, just because I think it is going to be the fastest possible nature runes for me to get. 
However, I don't think I'm going to melee it. I might try for a bit, but I'm pretty sure ranged is going to be a lot more efficient. So we'll have to see how that goes. And there we have the 100 nutrients that we were hunting. Time to finish up Moss Giants. Before we go to the Necromancer, I am going to need to make some changes to my gear. However, I will be doing that in the next episode, because I'm going to be ending this off right here. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you again next week. Take it easy, everyone.